Hi everybody. Today we're going to calculate the number of days between dates. And I want to show you guys how to calculate that by using an example. So I want to count the number of days between the 27th of April to the 5th of May. So let's count this out manually first, right? So I'm going to write out my dates. All right. Those are my dates. Now, on the 27th of April, not one day has passed. It is only when you get up to the 28th that one day has passed. Would you agree? Now, from the 28th to the 1st of May, that's another day. So, one day, two days, three days, four days, five days, and six days. So, we know there are six days between the 27th of April to the 5th of May. Now, these dates are rather close, so we can count it manually. Well, what happens when it isn't the 5th of May, is the 5th of November. That's going to make things rather complicated. So I'm going to show you how to count it. So, there are two ways of counting it, and it really comes down to personal preference regarding which way you use. The first way is you include your starting day. That's included. The second way is you include your ending day. What's important here is that you cannot include both. You only include either your starting day or your ending day in your calculations. If you include both, you will not get the right answer. And what do I mean by this? So, firstly, I'll do it incorrectly, right? Let's say we include both the starting day and the ending day. What would we get? So in April, there's 28 days. So 28 minus, because we want to include 27th, our starting day, we will minus 26. Plus 5, the number of days in May. And what you would get is 7. That is one day too much than the actual number of days there are between the 27th of April to the 5th of May. So we know now that you cannot include both. Now let's go down to how you would calculate it if you were to include your starting day. Your starting day, there are 28 days in April. We want to include the starting day so we don't take it away, we take away the preceding day, which is 26. Plus 4. So why did we plus 4? Because if you include your starting day, you cannot include your last day. So you basically get rid of this and you have 6 days. Let's try ending day. How many days in April? 28. Minus 27. Because we're including the ending day, we can't include the first day. So 27 minus, uh, 28 minus 27 is 1. Plus, because we're including the ending day, 5. 6 days. And this method can be included in whatever dates you get during the year. Now, keep in mind that in order to find the number of days between dates, you're going to actually have to memorize how many days there are in every month. Refer to your calendar for that. Thank you for watching this video.